Oh, I didn't see you there. Three, two, one. Why do you play? Start over. Well, I play because I've been playing ever since I was young. It's kind of like, I guess you can say it's almost like breathing for me. I've always had some kind of athletic situation occurring in my life. I play because of my passion for sports. I think growing up, sports was my first real love. And um, throughout my four years at McGivney, I really just wanted to embrace and continue that. I play because I love to play. I think it's something very healthy for the mind and body to work out, to play as a team, to compete. All of that balances out. I play because I truly love sports. Being able to play sports was one of my only ways to really uh, get my mind off stress. When I was able to like, shoot a ball or hit a ball, I was like, all my stresses just went away. It's just like a, it's like a safe haven, I guess, to like get your mind off everything else. Like if there's stuff happening at home, at school, all the stress. When you, when you're just playing sports and stuff, it's just like a relief. It's like a, it's like a sensation you can't really get anywhere else. It just brings you joy, even if you lose or win. We both, Ryan and I, play because uh, it's a good escape when like school is stressful and we just want to clear our minds. We love joining and just being able to kind of like know your capabilities because by playing sports, you kind of get to explore who you are as a person and you get to also see what other people are capable of. Because I want to be part of a competitive culture where I also have fun. I also want to be part of an exciting group of people where I develop friendships and have a great, great amount of So, I don't play a sport, but I'm actually on the Student Athletic Council and I've been there for two years. The reason why I joined was just because I really wanted to break out of my shell. I was like super shy. I thought it would be a really good opportunity to start meeting new people, especially in grade 9. And it's also like a good stress reliever. I play to have fun, but ultimately to represent all of McGinley outside in the sporting world. Um, I play just to meet new people, you know, have some fun, get active, get out there. I play to stay active and get involved in the school. It, it's fun and it makes me happy, but also because I get to meet so many new people, but also develop skills that I can use in the future, like teamwork. What was your favorite moment as a high school athlete? Um, well, for me, definitely the tournaments because not only do you get a bond with your teammates, you also get to cheer each other on and everyone gets to play. I well, mine was like when we were all on the bench, we always make those jokes like, uh, you know, uh, get the feet and like, you know, all those kind of jokes. It would be last year for the senior volleyball team, we were at an MTI tournament and we actually won the tournament and we beat the team that went, in, uh, went into the AAA tier tier one offsets and they actually did really well then so it was like a really nice feel being like the underdogs. Of the team. Last year's bio when I was in grade 11 just uh, because not only the whole school being there but a really close game against Trudeau and uh, we were tied, no sorry we were down by one with a couple seconds left and I got the steal and hit the game when he lay up. So just doing that in front of the whole school I just thought that was pretty cool. Uh, when I got my first kill on right side and I just learned how to play right side this year in grade 12. So um, at that moment, everyone went crazy. I went crazy. I didn't, that was like one of the moments when I realized, like, wow, I could actually play volleyball. I would have to be qualifying for OFSA in grade nine for high jump. Uh, I didn't really expect it to happen, and when it did, I was so surprised because I had I had never achieved something of that level by myself. Okay, before. my favorite memory on SAC was probably like the first time I scored kept. And I don't know why it's my favorite, but it's just like one of the ones that stand, stood out because I messed up the score sheet for volleyball, but that really got me to come um, every time like they would play volleyball and it really got me into the sport even though I don't play it, so. My favorite memory was uh, last year's co-ed season. I wasn't even playing, we were just sitting on the bench making new names for everyone. I don't know why, but it was really fun. Is uh, championship night this year and also uh, this year also because um, I experienced it with new uh, girls and amazing teammates um, but also because 
Our success showed how much we have improved throughout the years and um, developed as a team. Well, in grade 9, grade 10, you kind of hear things about Mr. Wu, Mr. Dharma. Well, Mr. Wu, like, you know, how he's like still yelling all the time and like really loud and like, like swear and all that stuff. So anyways, at our first uh, senior tournament in grade 11, uh, at the BA tournament, we were blowing out a team by like 20, I think it was Marshville, by like 20, 30 points at, at halftime. And so at halftime, we went into the change room and I thought, you know, I thought everything was good. But he just like tore us, tore us, tore us apart and he was just yelling at the top of his lungs and like scared, scared me. And um, I was like, wow, this guy's really serious. But what advice do you have for future athletes? Uh, even though you feel like there are people better than you who can do that sport. Go out, try out it for it anyways, because you never know that you could possibly be on a sports team and give 100%. Your athletes, I'm telling you, just do everything. Just even if you don't have the confidence to do it, you're scared you won't make it, just give it a try. Also make a bunch of friends and that, like you get close with all the teachers and everything. It's just a new community outside of just like your group that you would have in school. You would... Future advice I give to athletes is that make sure you don't get injured during practice. Really matter your your physique or your size, who you really are, because it's, it truly is about how much heart you play. Advice would be, I don't know, just like get out of your comfort zone because um, you don't know what you're capable of, and by playing sports, you get to really know who you are, and it just really helps to kind of just get yourself out there. Which coaches would you like to thank? For sure, we didn't forget you, Mr. Naidu in Grade Nine. First year on the volleyball team, I do Tomasis took over eventually and for the next three years he helped us grow. And Miss Caraza for track. Um, Mr. Dharma, Mr. Wu, Mr. Kuda, and Mr. Chung for coaching us for pretty much all four years of our high school basketball career. Uh, starting with Frisbee for the past two years, Ms. Martino. Really. Uh, track and field, Ms. Carraza coached me from grades 9 to 11. Nakuda for basketball in grade 10. And Mr. Dharma and Mr. Wu from uh, taking me in as a senior when I was in grade 9 and coaching me all the way up to now. They really showed me a lot in the... Uh... Um, Mr. Ambita, and Ms. Lin, and um, Ms. Fujiwara for coaching volleyball and always pushing me to be the best that I can be. Um, but I also want to thank Mr. Martino for coaching Ultimate. Mr. Darmine, Mr. Naidu, and Mr. Sukraj for helping me out with my journey through cricket. And I'd like to thank Ms. Karaza as well for helping me out through track. Mr. Stanulis, uh, Mr. Kuda, and of course Mr. Darmine, Mr. Wu for coaching me in basketball for four years. Thank Mr. Wu and Mr. Darmai for um, putting me on the team last year. Um, if I didn't have the chance to play basketball in grade 11 and grade 12, I don't know where, I don't know what I would be doing. Mr. Ambita, who was my first coach in high school, uh, grade 9 volleyball. Um, you were with me all throughout my four years, right up until co-ed this year. Um, also, I'd like to thank Ms. Ms. Karatsa for the past three years, uh, Mr. Kuda, grade 10 basketball, um, Ms. Lin, Mr. Chung, and last but not least, the great Stanley Martino. Um, sir, nothing but love and respect for you. Thank you for making this grade 12 year unforgettable, unforgettable for me. Um, my time in McGivney wouldn't be the same without all of you, so thank you. Uh, Mr. Naidu for being my first coach in high school. Mr. Thomas is for coaching me for two years. And I don't want you to forget, sir, that in grade 10, you did not put me on the team, then I came back to you. And I'm like, sir, why, why did you put me on the team? I was a libero last year. I'm like, I need to be on this team. I, I'm on this team. So then you let me, you let me be on the team. And um, guess what? Gave me MIP that year, so. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank Ms. Lino for coaching the senior girls basketball team. To thank Mr. Martino for coaching me in, uh, for Ultimate Frisbee for uh, the past two years. Huge thank you to Mr. Ambita for not only uh, taking me in as the grade nine rep on the Student Athletic Council uh, and, and guiding me all the way up to now in grade 12 as the president this year. Um, to coaching me this year for volleyball. Even though you knew uh, I wasn't the strongest on the court, you never never gave up on me. And why am I crying right now? <laughs> and for the co-ed team for giving me a chance. So thank you, sir. Why am I crying right now? Oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. 
<laughs> and thank you so much to Miss Fujiwara and Miss Lin for also coaching. And lastly, I'd like to thank all of the Student Athletic Council uh, teacher moderators, uh, especially, of course, Ambita, Mr. Martino, Mr. Darmai, Mrs. Darmai, Mr. Wu, Miss Bygrave. Uh, am I missing anyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, no, I think you got it. Okay.